All right, so let's talk about the design, add, and search for data structure. So you want to design a data structure that support adding new words and finding if a string match, and previously adding string. So let's talk about what it means. So, so BAD, BAD is a word, right? And DAD, MAD. So does PAD exist? No, right? How about BAD? Yes. And then dot ad dot ad. Let's look at this. What does dot mean? So dot can be replaced with any letters. Okay. So dot ad actually exists because bad dad mad work. How about b dot dot b dot dot? This one works. So this would be sh sh pretty straightforward to uh, try try data structure, right? So I can create a character for the first row, so it's going to be B, and then I create the children for 26, right? Because there are 26 data. And then I can have A, you know, and A have 26 data for the children, and then D, right? And then D, and then for the last D, you want to check this is the true for the last letter in the string, right? So send is what? D, uh, D has 26 children, and A, and A has 26, and then D later on, and then D you'll say true at the end. So it's MAD. So what happened to the dot? So dot is actually pretty tricky. You can check, do you have, you know, does this children get initialized or not? If if so, then you want to keep traversing until you reach a true or you return back to the parent and then, uh, and then return false. So let's, let's go over this. And then if you don't understand, you know, you can Go back to 208 video I have. It's about to implement a try video. Alright, so let's do this. I need a class for what? Try node. And then, yeah, I need a children. Try node create children. I need a Boolean function. That's a Boolean, you know, variable. Say it's word. And this will be the entire class I have, right? So I will have to initialize this. Needs new try no and then twenty six. Alright, so let's look at this try no. Right. I just have I have the root root. So root equal to new try no. Alright. So again, add word will be easy. So if you want to use the try no, you want to make sure that you are using a copy of root. So you don't actually touch your root. Uh, in the in, in the try right so again using the word dot uh, like tra uh, traverse the um, character so it's char array so again so you want to make sure the what root uh, no sorry no dot children as c minus a is not equal to what is not equal to no so if this is equal to no you want to initialize right you want to initialize so Will be new try no so we can tell okay this this index for this character is what is valid right it's in the string and then we will just move on to what to the next one right so this is how you pass to your ch children and at the end you want to say no that is word equal to true right so okay for the search search is a little bit tricky because you will have to try verse based on the index so in this case, I'm going to just create what a DFS, and I'm passing a word. I'm passing the index starting from zero. I'm passing a you know a copy of try no. Come on, passing a no in here. All right. So public boolean DFS string word int index, and then try no. No. Okay. Okay, so this will this will be pretty much the you know it's pretty straightforward DFS. If the index is e equal to the length of the word dot length, right? We want to make sure does the current no does the current no is what is uh, no dot is word, right? If this is true, you will return true. If this is false, return false. It doesn't matter, but you cannot keep going because this is the last index, right? And now we just have to say, okay, what is my current index? So try add an index. So if c equal to a dot, right? There are two scenarios. c equal to dot, else c is a character, right? Doesn't matter which one it is, but 
um, if C is a character, which mean let's talk about P, P, A, D, pad. So C is P, and then we want to make sure what the node dot child child P is valid, right? So we will say return node dot children as C minus P is not equal to no, and also what uh, um, you want to traverse the next character, right? So if this is if this is equal to no in the beginning, we will just return, right? Just return false, right? And then let's look at this BAD. BAD is right here, right? So C, the char C is equal to B. So know that children at B uh, index, which is index, index 1, because index 0 is A, index 1. So we, are, we already know this is not equal to no. Then we want to traverse the next index. So it's going to be DFS word index plus one, and then no will be what? Would be know that children at B. You cannot pass in no because you would you, you want to pass into the child, and then your child will just keep searching the children, right? So another another uh, sorry, the next character is going to be A, and then A will traverse the A child, right? So this will be a little bit tricky for the dot. So we still need to traverse. The child based on the no dot children, and um, you are you are traversing traverse twenty six. You know traversing all of the child inside the what the current node, right? And then if any of them is not equal to no, you can find it. Uh, you can try the possibility, right? So if child is not equal to no, and also the DFS, you want to pass in pass your current index to the next uh next uh sorry current current position so imagine you are right over here uh sorry so right over here this is the dot right so i so i already know my b is not b is not dot sorry b is b is initialized d is also initialized right so i can say child child for the, so this will be b b is not equal to no and then i want to make sure i Go on the next index, so index plus one, and no will be what? No will be child, right? Because you want to check for your next uh, next index, a uh, child parent. So if this is true, you will return true. <clears throat> all right. So once you finish all of this traversal, twenty six, uh, you know, uh, ch uh, children in the current node, and if you still cannot find it, you want to return false at the end. All right, so uh, this will be pretty much the solution. So let me run it. Oh, come on, C C C minus A. Uh, unclose character layer. So no dot children. Give me one sec. Oh, this is just stupid. Like what I'm doing. Okay, um, should be fine. Should be okay. All right, so yeah, it's a little bit uh, trivial if you watch two zero eight video first, and yeah, let's talk about time and space. So for the time and space in this method, it's gonna be all of n for the space, right? And definitely all of n for the time. All right, for this one, this will depending on DFS. So let's look at the DFS. DFS is what. Uh, the space is going to be constant, to be honest, constant. You will not allocate a trinode, right? Even though this is child, so you can probably just um, garbage collect later on, right? All right, let's do this. So this will be all of 26. And then once this traverse, right, you will have to traverse the length of what? The length of the world, right? So all of the 26 to the power of n, n for the world. So this will be what, uh, pretty massive time complexity, but it should be the the only optimal solution. And yeah, this so if this is twenty six to the power of n, and this one will be twenty six to the power of n. So this will be the solution for time and space in this uh question. So if you have question, leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.